Howdy, my name is Trevor, and right now, I'm in the middle of a town. Now, you may be wondering, where are the buildings? Where's the gas station, the grocery store, the school? Well, this ain't no normal town. This is actually a prairie dog town. This here is a prairie dog mound with a nice prairie dog hole, which leads to its home. Now these mounds are good for like watchtowers. When they come out of these holes, they'll stand up on these mounds, scout around the area, and making sure there are no predators around. Because there are a lot of animals that live in the grasslands that love to eat these tasty prairie dogs. Now prairie dogs, they live in a family unit, usually with one male, a couple females, and their offspring. And these family units are called cauteries. And then of course, when multiple cauteries are together, that creates a ward. And then when you have a bunch of wards, well then, that leads to the prairie dog town. When settlers came through the grasslands, they heard this barking noise and they began to wonder, what is making that sound? And of course, because these animals are found in the prairie and because they sound like they are barking, if you listen, like that, barking like a dog, well then that's how they got their name, Prairie Dog. And oh my gosh, they are so fun to watch, and I just think they're so adorable. I mean, just look at them. Don't you think they're adorable? Prairie dogs are a valuable species here in the grasslands. They are what's considered a keystone species. And a keystone species is an animal that if you remove it from the environment, it causes the entire ecosystem to collapse. Another example of keystone species are wolves and even sea otters. Now you may be wondering, how are prairie dogs a keystone species? Well, all the digging and scratching that they do in the grasslands allows for a variety of species of grasses to grow in the environment. So it benefits the environment by increasing the number of species in the grassland, which of course is favorable by bison, who love to graze on the grasses in prairie dog towns. These guys also provide food for a variety of predators, such as eagles and other raptors, foxes and coyotes. And then finally, their barrels provide homes for several species as well, such as tiger salamanders, and even the burrowing owl. So when you're around a prairie dog town, keep your eyes out. You may see a burrowing owl sticking his head out of one of the burrows. One more thing, the prairie dog jump yip, a contagious method of communication to determine if your fellow prairie dog neighbors are watching out for any predators. I did say it was contagious. Uh, guys, that one wasn't a prairie dog. I think it's time to go. Bye-bye.